kano kaitibwa kawuo akasajja bwemere kawuo akachara kano ke kasoka kumwere bweka Content Creators Association of Uganda, led by Liam, think, Liam the president, uh, and of course the madman who has always been in my <laughs> inbox uh, for putting up to this, to, uh, putting up this. For us, we really don't take it for granted. It's an opportunity for us because the waffle brand is going to be out there, but then also the cultural products of, of Uganda is going to be out there and to be known by many. Amazing. Yes. So thank you so much. Right now we are going to the well. To the well. To the well to fetch mm. the water. Mm. That well is called Nalongo. Mm. And you, when you go when you go to the Nalongo, not to go to the afternoon, you mm. must go to the morning or evening. Why not afternoon? Afternoon you, there is the, some things you find there, or you can find the snakes, the real part, something like that. So allegedly they say that this well belongs to a certain entity which manifests through a snake, through different animals, and that entity is called Nalongo. Am I right? Yes. yes. Okay. So who gave that well to Nalongo? Is the that name we come from the long, long ago we call it Nalongo. Nalongo. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Let's go and meet in Alongo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can have so many people as your supporters, but then they are just noise makers. Mm. They'll make noise and, and disorganize you. It's the same thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> competition. So, uh -huh, competition. If you do not, if you do not compete properly, you all bound to fail. Almost all of you under color yamune. Now when all under entirely, you understand. So if you, if you do not coordinate so well, you're also bound not to to have the output. So thank you so much. Let's go for that. <laughs>
proud of everyone. My name is Aisha Nawanka and I'm the CEO and the founder of Iwafi Cultural Village. This incredible center located here in Mokono, Nagalama, which is just about one and a half hours or even one hour from Kampala, the heart of Uganda. Uh, Iwafi started, uh, we just made our first anniversary. Uh, we started hosting visitors on the 1st of July 2023, but we are growing at an immense speed. Um, most of you have been asking why a wafe, why is it named the wafe, why of all the concepts. Um, personally, when I finished school, uh, I didn't do tourism, but my very first opportunity was in tourism. I happened to work with Uganda Tourism Association. As, my, as a project officer, and then as uh, I, I raised a bit of the ranks, I became the administrator of the association. So given that the association was at the helm of the sector, I was working with, the, with quite a number of value chain you know, providers, the hoteliers, the tour guides, uh, of course the ministries, the UTB, the UAS. So it gave me an opportunity of appreciating of appreciating the uh, of the sector you understand uh, then I also learned the, the, the dynamics of the tourists who come to Uganda uh, pre-COVID 2019 we had about 1.9 visitors who visited Uganda but when you look at when they reach the airport where do they go most of these people who were serving them more of the wildlife it was safari after safari, from action falls to Kidepo, to tracking gorillas, to, you know. So we were not selling our culture, yet it is very beautiful. Uganda, as you see it as a country, we have over 54 different cultures, tribes. But all these are unique in their food, in the dress code, in the language, in the way of life. Yeah. So that's why I was triggered to start up a small venture like this. Yeah, starting from where the possible resources I, I have to make something where visitors can come and experience a little bit of what our cultures have. Most of you ask, why don't we have a shower? Why don't we have the Choli culture? Why don't we have, you know? Uh, sometimes it's good to concentrate on one particular tribe than mixing so much and then you don't bring out the entire thing. So as a wafe here, we are concentrating on the Buganda culture because this is where we are situated, you understand. But then we, we give advice to other people in the different regions to also start something, you know, at their, in their localities, uh, you know, to do the Imbalu. I know some of you have just come from Bali, but then to do something in their regions because it rhymes so much with the region where you come from because that makes you know, the, the way of life of the people in that particular region. So as a warfare, we are concentrating on the Buganda culture uh, and growing it. And in the future, we are looking at having uh, a museum, a living museum where you can have variety of artifacts. Uh, next time you visit us here, probably we shall be having uh, accommodation facilities, you know, and many other things, but rotating around the Buganda culture. Uh, Ewafe is a community initiative. Uh, some of you have seen the people we work with here. All these are people from the community. Uh, they come here who at, at somehow you people tip us, you give us uh, this, this income. But then also Ewafe gives an opportunity as a marketplace because you're going to see our marketplace right there. We have, we do sell some crafts, but all these crafts are made by by the local community, the mats, the basketry, and all that. So we have over 25 people we do work with uh, when we receive visitors, and, and these directly benefit from the products directly. But then there are also indirect beneficiaries, the people who supply us the, luo, the chicken. You've not seen them here, but they, they, we provided a market for their, for their chicken. Look at the fruits, the fruit supply. Look at, look at the you know, the different things we are using. So you find that indirectly, these people are, are benefiting from from this initiative, if at all we are getting visitors day in, day, day out. For people who've traveled beyond the country, most of the countries are selling their cultures more. Why? Because it's our culture that makes us unique as a destination. There is no way you're going to go and use the teach Luombo, apart from in Uganda, you understand? 
this light the wildlife we have the same lion you'll see in Serengeti the same lion you're going to see in in, in Masai Mara but you're not going to find uh, the way that Senga was telling you about hiding in Kokonkulu anywhere so it is our cultures that make us unique and covid has really taught us so much that uh, people who are traveling today the millennials are looking at immersive experiences they are looking at learning a new skill of cooking we've hosted one of the famous families in the u.s okay i don't know whether they are famous but they are they are big on social media uh, you people must be knowing them the mazel family yes. they they visited here but it everything was new to them because one of their child got sick and we gave them medication our local herbs and the kid was got you know get got cured very fast so what we are selling here is it may seem normal for people who've grown in it because fetching water i know some of you have fetched water in your villages but it's something new to a visitor who comes into a country because it becomes a new experience and then they go when they've learned something and then when they've con con connected with with a community so i'll i'll appreciate some questions if you have then we shall proceed any questions Okay. All right. To our visitors intending to visit Ewafe, uh, we do have variety of activities. We do have a farm tour where we showcase uh, various indigenous medicinal plants, their values, and how they help you in the day-to-day -day life. We also showcase the traditional cookie. Uh, where we engage and also we actually it's more of an immersion we encourage visitors to participate in the traditional cooking where we showcase the luombo making and then the significancy why do we do what we do in the cooking and then we do have the um, craft making where we showcase uh, the basket making uh, we also do mat making but then also the stories around uh, the significance of a basket. For example, I think you've learned about the DNA testing, how we locally were using it, using a basket. So it's something which we bring out. We do have a dressing code where the women dress in our gomeses and then the men dress in the kanzus, you know, to bring out the picture of, of the dress code. Then we also have an incredible journey to the well where people walk to, uh, for about 400 meters to go to the well and collect water in the in the clay pot uh, where there are also so many learnings along the journey that you know the well used to be a courtship area it used to be a fighting place there used to be disputes you know I, I think we learned them when we were at the well uh, we do have cultural dances at Ewafe we have amazing games traditional games uh, Zimba, team building. So yes, all those things are available here at our office. So expect much. And then also the food. I think the food is also amazing yeah. at Ewafe, which is very traditional and authentic. And like you see, Ewafe is in the, it's a village and it's also uh, it's a community-based, I could say community-based kind of uh, initiative. Uh, Iwafe employs 25 uh, staff, five of which are permanent and then 20 are part-time. And all these staff are coming from the community around. Because, I mean, some of this traditional knowledge, it comes from the elders, the information from the Senga, uh, and even some of the information you're going to hear, it, you're going to hear right about now, I think it's good to hear it from an elder than probably me. You'll definitely say now this one, how many years has she cooked? You understand? <laughs> so all these are got from the community, all these uh, the staff here are community members. So one, it's employment. Two, it's a market for their products, uh, the crafts you're seeing, but then also the supplies we use at the warfare, the foods, you know, the different, the indagalas, the pombos we have at the, at, at, at the place. You saw the dancers, those girls are at, at school, so they also come here and they earn an income every time we receive visitors. Uh, of course now Ewafe has become, I could say, a brand for the village. Uh, you saw our road was very bad, but since now we are putting pressure to this local leadership, so they are also saying, hey, I think now we need to also work on the road. So it's also giving a good brand image uh, to the community. Yeah.
Absolutely. Na yenge etani kide ku grassroot. Mm. Etani kida udala kuchalo. Vanga mtu wa kuchalo. Ya gendo kuwe nkoko. Ya gendo leta fruitsi. Ya gendo leta mpombo. Ate mwana ya te ya kola nubwa kodja ni senga. Mm. So ogendo sanganga value chain. Nene. 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 Yes. Nyawe. Kwe wale nyo kubeda mchala mtete ya mkanya. Na kubeda mjiyia. E guanga lieta aga awa ntunga mbu. Amina. Na yetu geza wako na ukusome sabalala. Mm. Kwa wazi fashion ni yangu. Bobo, like bien singo kwa angala vili mkauta. I appreciate Ugandan culture. Atengeza wako nti. E wafiz wolo bake study. Kukuya mbaka te region zendala. Mm. Kwa anga Uganda tuina tribes over 50 plus. So, you know. Na yezo ni. Atezo nabu wangu wafi wawu kana. Wanja ulo. Language is different. The dress code is different. So what's harnessed so well. Mm. We can, we can, you know. Ashuka wa community. Mm. Kati echi for chino. Domestic tourist. Now you get the food that we eat. Domestic tourist. If you don't get the food that we eat, we will have to eat. If you don't get the food that we eat, traditional cooking. For them it is new. You understand? Just no club or go and eat For them the entire package, you it excites them because chiba chipia maso gawa. Then to in a student or mwana abasoma. Okay. To in a package ya cha ya we. Echu kamu ko definitely. Celebrating first anniversary of first July. impact. Absolutely, what I can say is that a what I can say is that we have a milestone to cover because to Chaziza, to Chaziza, to Kavaka, to Ghana, to Ghana, to Chaliza, to Wano, 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 to Kakati vigambo chi ebi semba yu biolina Kakati uvaka chi biolina Edi abantu abatulaba Obi semba yu Ah, abantu abatulaba Angatunawa kujako kuluwafi Vana ijango tuchalireko <laughs> There's a lot to learn There's a lot to immerse into uh, Mfumba ya fail fishing experience Community interaction So jango tuchalireko Kuluwafi uh, Then no kujigambo mtu Ugarata jimanyi mm. Nacho chili very kiko. Nga tuli just one hour of mm. mtu town mm. via Kayunga, uh, via Gayaza Road o via Makola Saeed. Kwe gamba gamba muno, agambe mune, na ya gambe mune, no ya gambe mune. Kwe gamba. It is a traditional feel of Uganda. <laughs> 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 Kano kaiti bwa kawo akasajja kekasere akawo akachara kano kekasoka kumwele bwe kati mwagale byononese Nero chus muchusa muko.